What's up guys? Wanted to do a video on the PC version of FS Golf for Mevo Plus. The PC version has been out for about a year, but FlightScope did a recent update that also included the PC version. I thought it'd be a good time to kind of do an overview of the PC version and kind of point out what's different in the PC version versus the iOS, iPad OS. They'll be very similar. But there are some really cool things that uh, if you have kind of a home setup like I do, or just a net and a TV and you've got a PC, that will kind of make it worth it. Let's just go over the first dashboard, if you will, to begin with. If you have the iPad version, this should look pretty similar. If not, if you're new to Mevo Plus, you've got a full swing session, which is kind of your normal session. You've got a review session option. That's to review your past sessions and you can kind of replay them and look at everything if you wish. That's gonna be limited to the device that you're on. If you wanna look at all your sessions and you use multiple devices with it, whether it's a PC, or an iPad or a phone, you'd have to go to the FlightScope cloud to see where all of those come together. This is just gonna be limited to the device that you're on. Then you've got play mode. That's pretty much the same as a full swing session, but it does not record all the data from every shot. You're just looking at one shot at a time and it is not uploaded to the cloud, pretty much just for hitting balls. Then you've got chipping and putting sessions. Chipping is very similar to full swing. Putting session, to be honest, I don't use it at all, but that will kind of uh, just limit it to an overhead putt view, if you will. And then swing training, uh, it will integrate with swing trainers like the super speed swing sticks and similar ones. That pretty much does not require you to actually hit a golf ball. Just swinging a club, it'll record your club speed and a few other data points that you might wanna know. Then you've got listener session, which is something that's new and we'll go over that a little bit. And then flight scope cloud that just links directly to the flight scope cloud takes you to the website. That's the dashboard. Let's jump into a regular full swing session and I'll show you a couple things. Okay, so we will start a full swing session. We're gonna use limited flight since we are indoors. I am eight feet from the ball and T surface is zero. Target alignment, should be pretty close. My ball is not in the center. So that would be about center right there. And we are good to go. If you need to adjust this, you just hit calibration and you can address the brightness of the camera and the level of the uh, surface there. Click next, we'll go into setup verification. And uh, this just tells you to hit a ball. And at the top, you can see the blue dot next to the black T on the screen there shows me that I was just right of center, which is fine. At the bottom under lighting conditions, it is sufficient. Environmental conditions, we're just gonna stick to standard C level. Player is me, and I will use a gap wedge and I will use an RCT ball. If you're not using RCT balls with Mevo Plus, I would recommend it. I did a test that is up on the channel from a long time ago, but using an RCT ball basically captured measured spin on every shot compared to using the metallic dots or no dot at all. And so this, all of this has been pretty standard. It's the same as the iOS version, but what makes this different is you can really configure your screen. So you can set up a split screen like this where I've got two cameras on there. You can split it into three. So I've got trajectory view, a grouping view, and a camera down here. And these are all adjustable. So if I wanted to change instead of grouping, I'll just click up here. And these are all of my options that I can put up there. So I can just put data tiles. I can do different club analysis views, impact location. Uh, since I do have that added on, and then uh, all these other things, different cameras and so on. So let's just put up uh, like club analysis. I'll have to hit a shot and then you can customize this to whatever you want to see. Yards. So now you can see I've got the uh, club analysis at the top. I can switch here face to path dynamic loft, launch angle, angle of attack, leave this on whatever I want to see. I really like this one actually. So you can have up to uh, four different things displayed on your screen. Now, 
Another thing that is exclusive to the PC version and makes it really cool if you have some kind of setup like I do is window mode. Let's say that instead I wanted to use both my laptop screen and my projector. I'm just gonna take this and drag it back to my laptop screen. Okay, so I am uh, back on my laptop screen here. And what I can do is let's say I wanna have a camera set up here but I also want to see a trajectory view back up on my laptop. So what I can do is just pick one of these and go to trajectory view. And then I've got this little pop-up uh, icon right here. And if I hit that, it brings my trajectory view back up to my projector. And I can come back here onto my laptop and select um, my cameras again. So now I've got my camera split view here, and I got a pop-out window of trajectory view up on my projector. This is really, really cool for making use of multiple screens. So I get to see my trajectory view up here, and then on the screen, I've got my swing cameras. You can do this a lot of different ways. Even if you didn't have swing cameras or weren't using that, you could uh, throw up your impact location, and uh, like a grouping view, that would be really, really cool. Should point out on the uh, impact location, you can throw up a heat map and just let this go. So whatever you wanna see, you can still customize. And of course, I've only got two here, but I could throw up up to four different views on my laptop and continue to use these. So, and if you're in window mode and you want to see your data, you can just click that icon there, and just like the iPad, you can throw, click on any of these other icons and throw them up on the right-hand side of the screen. So let's just hit another one, take a look at this space impact heat map. And as you can see, as I hit more shots, we've got a really cool heat map on the face impact location. I've got my grouping over here on the laptop. Now, I also wanted to point out in trajectory view, the uh, new features, the environmental optimizer, which I've already covered in a uh, different video, but I just wanted to point out that it is in the PC version. And if you haven't seen that, basically you're up here, this EO button, you can click this and then you get different options. So you can customize your environment. You'll get to see two different versions. You'll get to see, since we set up the session at standard sea level, then we can customize the second version. So we can change the landing height. If you wanna see hitting 10 yards below you or 10 yards higher than you, it will give you different data. You can change altitude, temperature, humidity. You can turn on wind at different speeds and from different directions. You can also, instead of customizing these things, you can just go on location and select a uh, location <clears throat> on the map. I'm in Texas, but if I wanted to look at a specific golf course in Colorado, I could just search on the map for it and it would bring up local conditions for that course in Colorado. But the easiest thing to demonstrate instead of location would just be going by custom and uh, we could, like I said, change the temperature and all that, but let's just turn on the wind, just turn on a 10 mile an hour wind. Let's put it into us and we'll just hit a shot now. Yards. So a little bit thin there, but you can see on all the data tiles, I've got two numbers. I've got a top number, which is my, my normal sea level, no wind shot was hundred yards carry. And then with that 10 mile an hour wind, 86.7, whatever conditions you selected in the EO, it's gonna give you the effect of that on those bottom numbers. And it's not just carry, it's roll, total, lateral, curve amount, all kinds of things that the different conditions can affect. It will show you both as well as the ball flight. You can see your normal yellow trajectory line, and then you've got a blue one for the EO. This is honestly one of my favorite new features from FlightScope. Now, there was another one that they released that was the trajectory optimizer. If you go in here and look at your other options, you will see that it is not in there. That is uh, only for the mobile versions, I believe iPad at this time, maybe they'll release it here. Just wanted to point out these new features. The next thing I wanted to talk about was really cameras. I've gotten a lot of questions about how cameras work in the PC version of FS golf. So let's take a look at that. We'll switch back to 
these uh, two USB cameras that I have already hooked up. And I'll switch them both onto live mode. It does obviously work with USB cameras. And all you have to do to set that up is go into uh, settings and then go into video. And any cameras that you have connected to your computer are going to show up here. Um, at first, they're going to be toggled off. Um, it's going to look just like that, this HD USB camera. You just go in here and turn it on. That's all there is to it. So you can adjust uh, frame rate. These cameras only go up to 120 frames per second, but that's what it is uh, telling me. And then you can actually click on advanced settings and you have full control over all the camera settings, brightness, contrast, uh, sharpness, gain, uh, exposure, focus, all of that. I've just got it on the uh, default settings. So that's it. Um, for some reason I lost my preview because I turned it off and on maybe. Um, but that's pretty much all it is to connect one of these cameras. The HD USB camera is a swing camera from Carl's Place. And the other one that I have connected, this one here that says RYS HFR USB 2.0, that is one of the Kton USB cameras that I bought from Amazon. I've got reviews of both of these cameras on the channel if you're interested, so check them out. They're both working with FS Golf, no problem. So I just wanted to use one of each. So that's it to connect these cameras. You can go back to done and they will show up just like any other view. Um, when you click the three dots, they, here's the one, here's the other. So just like anything else you wanna select, you can put it on there. Real quick, I'll just hit a shot and we can look at the cameras. There we go. <clears throat> so that's at uh, one quarter speed. Now the other thing I just wanted to uh, demonstrate as well is that the FS Multicam works just as well with the PC version as it does with the iOS. If you're not aware, Multicam is a different app from FlightScope that allows you to turn your phone or other mobile device into a swing camera. What we can do is do the same thing like we added the other cameras and go up here to video and I am going to open the Multicam app on my phone because it's already connected. With my Mevo Plus, it automatically connects. And if I go over here and just hit refresh, I should see it pop up where it says Multicam server from Bobby's iPhone. There it is. And just like the other cameras, we can just toggle that on. And here we go. So you can see uh, I've got the Multicam running on my phone and frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. A little bit disappointing, you don't get better slow motion, um, but the picture is pretty crisp. So you can adjust the time before and after impact, but that is not necessary. And now that that is running, I can come up here and add this one right here, a multicam server from Bobby's iPhone. And let's pick another, let's do like the 3D club analysis, something like that. And I'm just gonna stick this on a tripod behind my Mevo Plus and uh, we'll hit a shot. Carries 108.8 yards. And here's my replay from the Multicam app. Now the last thing I just wanted to mention is that listener session. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this session, get us back to our dashboard and click on listener session. It's gonna search for a second and I'm not connected. What listener session is, it allows you to connect to your Mevo Plus with uh, one device and then add a separate device just as a listener device. So one is controlling the Mevo Plus in that session. The other one is just kind of tapping in and allowing you to view different data as somebody watching nearby. So basically like if you're a coach and maybe you're just looking at different things than the student might wanna see, you can do that. But when it comes to like the PC version, it can be nice to use your PC as the listening device and then maybe use your iPad as the controller if you prefer to like keep all of your sessions in one device so you don't have to go to the cloud 
Maybe you take your iPad with you to the driving range and you also wanna use it at home, you can do that. And then just connect your PC as the listener device. And that will allow you to throw up whatever you want on your screen or on your TV or just on your computer monitor and also have your iPad controlling it. So maybe you have a tablet stand that you've got one view and then you've got your PC connected as a listener with a different view. So it's really simple to set up. I'm not gonna do it, but this page right here just tells you basically scan a QR code and connect as a listener device and that's it. So it will be saved on the PC if you connect it as listener, but it will be saved only as a listener session. Lastly, I know I'm gonna get these questions, so just so that you know, the PC version is included with the Pro Package. It is also included with the 2023 version of Mevo Plus. So if you have a Mevo Plus 2023 edition, or like I have the Mevo Plus Limited Edition that came out this year in 2024, and that also includes a Pro Package, the PC version is free to download, so go ahead and do that. If you don't have the Pro Package and you have a Mevo Plus from earlier than that, it is a one-time fee of $99 to download the PC version. So just be aware of that. If you want to add the Pro Package, face impact location, or buy a Mevo Plus, just use the link in the video description and use the discount code FRIENDLY to save some additional money on any of those purchases. I think that about covers it. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.